So I did a video on this speaker just the other day. This is the new American Audio APX12 Go BT. It is a 12 inch battery powered speaker and it maps out for under $220. It's like $219.95 or something like that. And I got a lot of questions in the video. Now what I did with the video was more of a demo. I was trying not to give any opinions in the video, just kind of showing you what it is and what it does. But one question that I got I thought I would try to answer today. Somebody said, do you feel like this is a good enough speaker for professional DJ use? For things like outdoor events or ceremony? Yeah, I do actually. Now, American Audio came out with an ELS series probably about four years ago maybe. And it was at about the same price point. They had an ELS Go 8BT and an ELS Go 15BT. I had the 8, real lightweight. And it was a cool little utility speaker. It did exactly what they said it would do. It was battery powered had a built-in mp3 player and you could bluetooth your phone to it but the sound quality i felt was really lacking on that speaker where with this one i feel like they've upped the game quite a bit this is not the els series this is apx and i'm pretty particular when it comes to sound quality i don't like things that sound cheap or are real mid heavy and this one right here yeah you could absolutely use this as a professional dj i would use it I'm not going to start using this instead of the battery powered arrays that I have because I really like those. But we're looking at a price point, like I said, at under 220 bucks for a battery powered speaker. It does come with some stuff that I wanted to show you too. It comes with a wireless microphone, all right? Now, again, it comes with a wireless microphone. This isn't an extra, this is in the box when you buy it. And I'll turn the speaker on and show you that the mic you know, it does indeed work. I'll turn the microphone on and you can hear me, right? I'll turn this. The mic does work and you know, it's a freebie as far as I'm concerned. This is the thing that's going to, you know, for me anyway, trigger me to pick up something like this, but it works. I don't know if I'd hand it to somebody for a speech or a toast at a wedding. Maybe I would, but I don't know. This isn't the thing that really sold me on the speaker. It was the fact that it was battery powered and 12 inch and sounded pretty decent. So I'm real happy with the sound quality on it. Like I said, what I'm going to do is pop in a flash drive with some royalty free songs on it. Same thing I used in the last video. So you can kind of hear it. When I put this in, it starts playing in just a few seconds. Doesn't take any time at all, see? Now, on the ELS Go series, I didn't use the MP3 player. I thought it sounded terrible for some reason. But the MP3 player on this one sounds pretty good. And you're actually getting some decent mid bass out of this thing too. If I give it a little volume, you might be able to hear it. lacking a mid control on the GQ. It only has treble and bass. I feel like it could benefit from mid, but just standalone like this with the built-in MP3 player, I think it sounds fine. So you can use it for a lot of things. You can use it for personal use. My friend Wavy Davies sent me a text yesterday. Here, I'll read it to you. It's on my phone. He says, and I didn't tell him what to do, by the way. He was just looking at my YouTube videos. And it, this is awesome. He's sending me a picture of this thing. And I'm like, you bought it? Yeah, it's pretty cool. And he goes on to say how, um, let's see, we are sitting on our patio outside right now, messing with it. The cost is a great bang for the buck. No, it's not like an Evolve 50, but it will be great for ceremony, music, cocktail hour, and 4th of July. So, Wavy Davy likes it. And, you know, like I said, it's fairly inexpensive. If you're looking for a solution, just to have battery-powered sound somewhere and sound that's actually acceptable for a professional DJ, 
I think this is cool. If you're looking for something to rock out in the garage or when you have family over to play some music outside, I think it's also a cool piece at the right price. It does have the wheels on it. It's got this pull-up handle on it, which is sticky right now, but yeah, see it pulls up. You can wheel it around. I showed that in the last video. So yeah, I actually like it. I actually do like this speaker and I will use it. And you know what, my battery powered array stuff is really cool and sometimes my kids want to borrow it or something. Now it's like, you know what, take the APX. I'm not going to give you my, my, you know, almost thousand dollar array battery powered stuff, but you can take this and use it if you'd like to. That's it, just a quick video for you. If you got any more questions, let me know in the comment section. I'll try to answer them for you and uh, yeah. It gets my seal of approval. It's decent. It's it's all right, you know. This is a cool little speaker, especially for the price. Even if the speaker was twice the money, I think it would still be a great investment and a real decent sounding speaker. So that's it. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Practice and enjoy.